All right, Bwana Asifiwe. This is another beautiful day that God has given unto us. And it is my faith that you are there. And I can see that you are joining us. And the Lord will be good to us. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, what we started yesterday, uh, or rather the day before yesterday, we are talking about God speaks to us. And uh, I want you to hear that uh, it is the will of God for us as a church to hear his voice. Jesus said in John chapter 10 that my sheep hear my voice. Kwa hivyo ni kusema kama sisi ni kondoo wa mungu inatufa, inastahili tuisikie sauti hii ya mungu abaya natuita kondoo wake. Kwa hivyo ni kusema usije ukawa mtu ambaye uh, uko comfortable without the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Usiwe comfortable without the word that should guide you. The word that should lead you. Do not be comfortable uh, when you cannot hear the voice of the Lord. The voice that is supposed to speak unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. And I welcome you to eat to what we are learning today. And as we have said, and I want just to recap in a minute or two and say this, God spoke to man from the very beginning. From the very first day of creation, God spoke to man. God spoke to men. And he said to them, this is where you shall uh, you shall be and this is where you shall uh, how you shall do things. Kuna miti walipewa, kuna matunda hawakupewa. Kwa sababu mungu hakutaka kuriski ya kwamba, eh, men should just live, should they just do things. But he wanted them to do exactly what he wanted. So he spoke to them from the very first day. And I want to say this, we cannot uh, in any way overemphasize the importance of the voice of God to any one of us. Sauti ya mungu ina umuhimu mkubwa sana katika maisha yetu. Thank you, Pastor Abraham, for joining us. God bless you so much, sir. It's a great honor to have you online also. I want to say this. The voice of God that we are supposed to hear is so important and paramount to us. In fact, nita kuambia hivi, na nimeshea maneno haya kwa siku nyingi. Nikambia wale ambao wananisikia ya kwamba eh, wakati moja mungu wali nitokea. Akaniambia kuna vitu vitatu vinne ambavyo sitataka upoteze katika maisha yako. Akaniambia they are the assets of your life. They are the assets of your salvation. Number one, akaninenea habari ya eh, uweza wakumusikia. The ability to hear him. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore, even as I have continued all along from the time that God spoke this word to me, Praise the name of the Lord. I have already discovered and understood why God said to this to me. Because there are things that would have happened in my life if I didn't have the voice of God. Number two, he said, don't forget or lose the ability to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they are important to me. When you are praying, because to a man who prays, everything is possible. Praise the name of the Lord. A person who can pray. Because prayer avails. James chapter 5, the Bible says the prayer of a righteous man avails much. So it is good for you to know whenever you pray, things will be available to you. Things will be availed to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Nataka usikia hili neno pia. Ya kwamba kitu cha tatu ambacho ni megudua, alichoweka katika moyo wangu ya kwamba kinastahili kuweko ni imani. Nisija nikapungukiwa na uweza wakumuamini. Praise the name of the Lord. So no matter what is going on, never lose your faith. Number two, never lose your ability to hear God. And number three, never lose your ability to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't lose your ability. Hallelujah. Don't lose your ability to believe. Don't lose your ability to pray. Don't lose your ability to seek the face of God. For whoever can hear God, whoever can pray, and whoever continues in the faith, there is nothing impossible. Na usiogope, ata ukiwa kwa msitu mkubwa, kama unaweza kuwa tunaweza wakumsikia mungu, mambo yatakuwa tafauti. 
Kama unaweza tu kuwa na uweza wa kujua ni nini Mungu anataka katika maisha yako. Hakuna kitu hakiwezekana. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Nashukuru Bwana kwa wote ambao tuko na wao. Bwana awabariki sana. Nashukuru. I don't take for granted you are taking your time to listen to the word of God in these difficult situations. I know that the Lord is good. Thank you for sharing and you can uh, tag somebody on the video so that somebody can be blessed as we continue. So God spoke to man from the very beginning and God continues to speak. As we were seeing yesterday from the book of Job chapter number 33 from verse number 14, the Bible says God speaks yet man does not perceive. So I said God always speaks. Hebrews chapter 1 Verse 1 and 2, the Bible says God who at different times spoke to our fathers in different ways. The same God, the Bible says, he has spoken to us. He is speaking to us through his son. So we are supposed to be men and women who hear God now and in the days to come. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to pray before we get deeper into this word. Father, I pray that whatever we are learning, whatever we have learned, O oh God, even those who go back to the previous videos to watch the, uh, the, the, the previous post, we decree that God, the word, will speak to each and every person. Those who are listening online right now, those who hear this word afterwards, I pray that God they will hear your word. They will understand you, Jehovah God. They will know the purposes that are in your heart. And God Almighty, they will know the things that are planned and set for them. And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. And somebody say, Amen. Amen. And I thank God for each and every one of you. God bless you so much. So, uh, as I said yesterday, yesterday we were looking at uh, the reasons as to why God speaks. And I want to say this, number one, I said God wants people through speaking. Mungu huwaonya watu kupitia kuwanenea. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Na hivyo ni kusema kama wewe utako, utapitana na ajali fulani na hatari za maisha. Nilisema jana ukiangalia Yesu alifichwa kwa neno la Mungu. Wakati Mungu alitokea mama Jusi katika Matthew chapter 2 verse number 12 akawatokea akawaambia ya kwamba msirudi kwa Herode maana anatafuta kuwa mtoto. Akamwambia Joseph katika verse number 12 Wewe ondoka enda misi kwa sababu kunao wanao mtafuta huyu mtoto. I want to say this. There are so many things that are dead in the lives of men because they are not hearing God. Number two, uh, and, I, and, and I give the scripture first Samuel chapter 23 verse 10 to 14. David has inquired of the Lord. Aliomba mungu. Aliuliza mungu maswari kuhusu maisha yake, kuhusu kile kigetokea, na mungu wakamunenea. Kwa hivyo nataka ujue ya kwamba, when God speaks to you, you can escape from any kind of danger. You can escape danger, you can uh, 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 fail to get into the traps of the enemy when God is speaking to you. Number two, God speaks to give direction. I say that Genesis 2 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 30 verse number 21. God is willing to speak to us so that we can get the direction we need in life. Tunapaswa kwenda wapi. Ni kitu gani tunastahili kufuatiria. Direction nzuri ni hile inatoka kwa Jehovah. Jina la buwana libarikiwe. Kama kuna jambo la maana katika kanisa. Ni wakati kanisa linasikia sauti ya buwana. Wakati mpendo wa unajua ni nini mungu anataka. Kwa sababu direction in your life. You will not miss your direction if you can hear the voice of God. And I pray that God will begin opening your understanding to his word so that you don't miss your direction in Jesus' name. And somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Number three, I say that God speaks so as to exhort, you know, to, uh, to, to encourage. Eh, ananena kuwatia watu moyo Ananena na hiyo diyo jambo Lide nilishikanisha na jambo ra nne Nikasema for strengthening and encouraging You know If God is to encourage you He must speak to you Kuna mahali utafika ambako wakuna mtu anaheza kukunenea Hata ukienda kwa ibada Hakuna mtu atakunenea Hata ukikaa chini ya watu wenye mafuta Hauta jua ni nini mungu anataka Until you hear his word Mana nenurake wakati linakuja kwako, then you can be encouraged, you can be strengthened. I talked about Genesis 21 verse 15 to 20, about Hagar, ambaya lihitaji sauti ya buwana. Number five, I talked about, it reveals God's will and the plans. Hallelujah. And I said all men have destinies, but our destinies are unknown. 
Watu wale wanakuzaa hawajui destiny yako. Watu wale mnakana wao hawajui utafika wapi, hawajui unaweza kuwa nani. Only God knows this destiny. And therefore, when you hear the voice of God, your destiny is opened up. Your destiny is revealed. And in that revelation of your destiny, you have a future. Praise the name of the Lord. Hakuna jambo baya kama kupatana na mtu ambaye hajui kule anaenda, hajui anapaswa kufika wapi. Ni watu wangapi tutafika mbele za Bwana na tutajiona watu waliokuwa na heshima, waliokuwa na utukufu, lakini waliowagamia. I want to tell you this, despite that the God had said, I love Jacob over Esau. I want to say this, Esau missed everything because he did not understand who he was born to become. Hakujua yeye ni mzaliwa wa kwanza. Hakujua destiny yake, hata hii kitu haimsaidii sasa. Hakujua itamsaidia kule mbele. Aliona kama ni kitu tu cha mchezo hapa. Kumbe katika lile jambo, aliuza ulithi wake. Ni watu wangapi kwa sababu ya kutojua kile wanaendea. Kule watafika, wameuza ulithi wao. Judges chapter 13, ukiangalia hilo neno linaogea habari ya the Manoas. Na Manoas walinenewa na mungu kuhusu mtoto watakaye mzaa. Na nataka ujue, wengi wetu mtazaa kitu ambacho haukujua. Utazaa kitu ambacho haukufikiria. Lakini the best is when you hear God. So that you can give birth and do what you are supposed to do to whatever you are giving birth to. And I also give Acts chapter number 9 verse 1 to 7. Ambao niliongea habari ya mtu wanaitua Saul. Ambaye mungu walimunenea na katika kunenewa na mungu. Uh, ndiko eh, maisha yake yalibadilika na ndipo hata eh, mtu anaitwa Ananias wakati alikuja kwake akiwa na neno la Bwana alimsaidia Sauli wapendwa watumishi wa Bwana ambao mnanisikiza we need to hear the voice of God so that we don't just give dead matter to people we need to be flowing with the word of God and not just the word that you get from the Bible but the word that the God is speaking to you you know there are, there are times even when the church is in a crisis and it is not necessarily for you to address the crisis at that particular time. God may give you a word for now. A word that needs to be heard. Na kuambia hivi hata kunaweza kuwa kanisa limejaa wazinzi. Na mungu wa wanyamazie siku moja. Asi waongereshe kuhusu uzinzi wao. Ili ya nene mtu alie vunjika moyo. Alie ingia katika ibada. Buwana yesu watukuzwa. Kwa hivyo mpendwa. Hallelujah. Ninataka kuomba ya kwamba sauti ya mungu itakunenea. Let's go to number six because uh, I must move on. Number six in terms of uh, uh, hearing God or God speaks to us in this message today. I want to share on number six to instruct. God's voice comes to instruct a man. The way that you should go. I want to say there are five things that I would like you to know concerning God's instructions in your life. Acts chapter 13 and verse number 1. The Bible says, And there were gathered in Jerusalem the apostles, prophets, and other men, leaders in the church. And the Bible says they were praying. And the Spirit of God, I believe there should be in verse number 2, spoke unto them and said, Separate for me Paul and Barnabas for the work that I have given unto them. Separate for me. Instructions given to the church. Maagizo yanayo tolewa kwa kanisa. Ni watu wangapi siku ya leo wanao fanya mambo bila maagizo. Ni watu wangapi ambao wameinua watu ambao hawaku stahili kuinuliwa. Ni watu wangapi wamepewa cheo na hawaku stahili kupata cheo. Kwa sababu hawakuwa katika hiyo nafasi ya kupewa cheo. Jina la buwana libalikiwe. Na mungu anawajua. Na mungu aliwajua. Kwa hivyo, ninataka usikie hivyo. Number one. In the instructions of God, you will understand who. 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 Not the World Health Organization. Praise God. Who. Now who is about who you are. Who you are supposed to reach, who you are sent to, who you are supposed to work with. And I want to tell you this, many people have wasted their amana hours, their time, anything that they were given by God. Because they associated with the who's who we are not supposed to be in their lives. Mtu anaingiana na mtu kwa sababu memuona ni mzuri. Ni watu wangapi hata mtu walichekeshwa, ukafuata mtu kwa nyumba yake, sasa ni kulia unaria. 
kwa sababu hata ulipomfuata ni mtu muovu ni mbwa mwitu aliyejivika ngozi la kondoo lakini kwa sababu haukusikiza unafuata huu you are not supposed to fall praise the name of the lord how many people are doing uh, 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 are living the life they are not supposed to live and the issue is this they are not hearing god so they don't even know who they are Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Nataka kusema hivi na mimi hupenda kupeana mifano yangu. Maisha yangu ni mfano mzuri ni kama kitabu. Maana wakati niliokoka kwa sababu ya maisha ile nilikuwa nimeishi hapo mbele. Nilijidharau, nilijidunisha, nilijiona mtu ambaye hastahili chochote. But as I'm continually walking with the God, there is one thing that I discovered. When a God spoke to me, when a God began to speak to me, things took a turn. Praise the name of the Lord. Nikaanza kujijua ile kujidharau nilikuwa na jidharau kwa sababu ya sauti ya Bwana neno lile alinena aidha kupitia watu ama katika njia yoyote likaanza kunijenga nikaanza kujiona I am a VIP in the presence of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So my brother my sister you need the voice of God. Unawezaishi maisha ambao who you are has not been revealed. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God reveals himself when he speaks to you. I will talk about that one in a moment. So hear me and hear me well. Kuna mahali unapaswa kufika sauti ya Mungu ikunene so that the you can rise. And I pray in the name of Jesus, may you hear the word of God. May you hear the word that will quicken the you to come up. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I hope you are saying a good amen at home wherever you are. Praise God because the word inapaswa ikuinue sauti ya Bwana inapaswa ikulete mahali ambapo utajijua utajielewa utajua wewe ni nani Bwana Swesa who are you and who are your neighbors who are your companions God's voice is supposed to reveal this Number two, in the instructions the voice of God is supposed to tell you what Uh-huh what were you created for Praise the name of the Lord. What are you supposed to do? What are your responsibilities? What does God want with you? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati mtu yule hana zile habari, hakuna jambo hatari kama hilo. Mtu asiyejua ameitiwa nini? Uliumbwa wa nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kuna watu wengi nitawaambia maisha yao yamepoteza vitu vya maana kwa sababu gani hawajui wanapaswa kufanya nini? Wao waliumbiwa nini? Ni nini ilifanya Mungu awaleta katika hilo? Let me tell you this. You did not come here is great. The what is important for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry for the disruption network issues. I want to say this. It is good for you to know why you came to this world is important before God. Kuna watu wengi ambao wako katika spiritual quarantine. I know you can understand this word now even the show show understands quarantine. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good for you to understand why did God want you to come? Why did God want you to be here? Ni vyema kwako katika jina la Yesu ujijue ya kwamba uliitwa utoke katika the quarantine ambao umeji quarantine. Na wengine umeji quarantine kwa sababu gani? Ya kujidharau, ya kuona kama hauna reason, hauna kitu unaweza fanya. But I want to say this, we have a lot to do by the grace that God has given unto us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have a lot to do by the grace that God has given unto us. May God help you. I I cannot dwell in these things. Hey, this is a wide topic and I'm feeling the sweetness. I hope it is sweet to you wherever you are in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu kuna mambo Mungu anatenda. Nasema hivi, where is another thing, the third thing in the instructions. Where? Where has God uh, is is God taking you? Where does God want you to be? You know, you you can settle in a haran when there is Canaan. And a haran and Canaan are eh, are similar in terms of pronunciation in one way or the other. But I want to say this haran will never be Canaan. It is good for you to know Abraham's father settled in Haran, but he was going to Canaan. He never came to Canaan. But Abraham had the voice of God and was able to come to Canaan. Mungu atukuzwe. 
si ubarikiwe si Mungu ainue tamaa ya sauti yake katika maisha yako maana kama sauti yake itanena kwako ninakuahidi ya kwamba kuna vitu vitakavyobadilika katika maisha yako jina la Bwana libarikiwe hakuna mtu ambaye alisikia sauti ya Bwana akabaki vile alikuwa mbeleni Hakuna mtu alikuwa alisikia sauti ya Bwana akabaki kuwa mtu yule aliyekuwa hapo mbeleni. Nasema sauti ya Bwana ni important katika maisha yako. It is so important in your life. It is so important in your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. No matter where you are, no matter who you are, be a man, be a woman of the word of God. Be a man, be a woman of the voice of God. Hallelujah. So, let's move on. So, where are you supposed to be? It is good for you to hear the voice. Because in the instructions, God will instruct you where. If you look at what I, I termed the Genesis chapter 12 from verse number 1. God instructed Abraham where he was supposed to go. Where? Canaan. Not just anywhere. Not just like anybody else is moving. Na si ya tikuamba unaenda kwa sababu watu wanaenda. Ah, ah, unaenda kwa sababu mungu anataka uwe pare. Genesis chapter 26. And verse number one, downward, we all know the Bible says there was a famine in the land of Egypt, Israel rather, in the land of Canaan. And in that famine, God spoke to, uh, to Isaac and he told him, don't go down to Egypt like your father did. Settle here. I will take care of you in this land. Kuna kiangazi, kuna nja, lakini ka. Si Mungu atusaidie kwa maana wapendwa kuna watu wengi walitoka katika ndoa zao kwa sababu zilikuwa zinawatatiza kuna watu wengi walitoka katika nyumba zao kwa sababu kulikuwa na matatizo kuna watu hata walifuta kazi kuna watu waliacha vitu walikuwa wanafanya kwa sababu ya hali ambazo zilikuweko at that particular time and what they did not understand is that God's destiny was for them to settle there praise the name of the Lord God prospered Isaac in the land of the Philistines. In that a time when there is a famine, the Bible says a kapanda, a kavuna mara mia moja. Kwa sababu gani, katika hile nchi alikuwa, mungu alimuambia, sauti ya buwana, ilikuwa imemuambia, kaa katika hii nchi. Wewe mungu wamekuambia ukai wapi. Buwana yesu wa sifiri. Wewe mungu wamekuambia uende wapi. Vitu zingi, nasisemi ya kwamba ukose kutumia akili. You cannot just say, oh, I'm waiting on God. So even when there is an application to take somewhere, you don't apply because uh, uh, you, are, you are not hearing God. I will talk about the means by which God speaks. But I want to say that even as much as you use your brain, talk to God and tell God, God, is it your will for me to go this way? Is this where you want me to be? Because if God does not want you to be there, even if you take yourself there, you will be frustrated. Na kuna watu wengi wakati huu ambao ninaongea. Nitasema wako frustrated katika maisha. Kuna watu wengi ambao maisha yao iko na kasoro na matatizo. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu ya kutojua mahali wanastahili kuwa. Wanafanya vitu mahali tu wanataka kufanya. Hawajui mahali mungu agetaka wawe. E, number, number four. How? There is a how. God has a how in life. There are things that a God would like you to do. How he wants you to do them. He has the instructions. Na wapendwa ni watu wengi wanafanya kazi za watu. Ni watu wengi wanafanya mambo yale watu wanataka wafanya. Kwa sababu gani? Sauti ya mungu haiku wanemea. Kwa hivyo umeenda kufanya vile watu wanasema. Umeenda kufanya vile vitu watu wanafanya. Jina na buwana libarikiwe. I want to say this and I'm sorry to say. Not all of us are called to have mega churches. So don't try to make yourself a mega church preacher. You might not have the capacity. Praise the name of the Lord. There are some, some who can handle 50 people and that is okay. You can handle them and take them to heaven comfortably. But if they increase and become a hundred, you will go to hell with them. Otaanza kufanya vitu ambazo huku sahili kufanya. Kwa sababu sauti ya mungu, hauku isikiza, ikuambie tosheka, fanya hile ni mekuitia. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. There are people who never open the churches, but they will be great men in heaven because they were following the voice of God. There are people who are the churches and they will be great men in heaven because they did the work of the Lord. I want to say this. How are you doing whatever you are doing? And even in, in terms of the family, in terms of your marriage, in terms of the things that you are doing, I want to say all things require the input of the voice of God. Sauti ya mungu ni ya muhimu mpendo. 
Wewe unaye nisikiza. Usije ukasema unajua e, mimi hata sisiki yangi mungu diyo maana tunataka tuende kwa haraka. Tufikie eneo ambalo nitaanza kuzugumza habari ya jia zile mungu utumia kunenea watu. Sasa, raste I want to say this. When? Time. There is a time and a season for everything under the heaven. Kuna kitu ambacho kinaweza fanyika leo. Na hakistahili kufanyika kesho. Kikikosa kufanyika leo, kimepoteza ladha, kimepoteza mahali pake. Jina rabwana libarikiwe. Hmm? Kuna fundisho ambalo, linapazwa lifundishwe leo kama hili. Na siku amba natetea hili. Lakini linastahili lifundishwe leo. Likigoja kesho ladha yake itakuisha. Litakosa maana. Kuna mtu leo ukona nafasi ya kuingia online. Lakini kesho hauta kueko. If I don't preach this word to you today, it will be late for you. Praise the name of the Lord. There is somebody who is supposed to make a decision. And I am speaking to you now. So that you begin listening to God before you make the decision today. Because the decision you are going to make shall determine the future of your life. Praise be to God. That is why I am saying we need the voice of God. When are you supposed to do whatever you are supposed to do? When are you supposed to say whatever you are supposed to say? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usipoteze wakati kwa kufuata vitu ambazo haujui na vitu ambazo hauelewi. Bwana wabariki sana na asante wale ambao unazidi kutuandikia notes. I know and you are there writing a lot. Lucy you might be there writing. God bless you so much. I thank God for each and every one of you. So, let's move on. So, the scripture, Acts 13, verse number 1, I've given it. Genesis 12, verse number 1, uh, from verse number 1. Genesis 26, from verse number 1. There are people who were instructed by God. Walishauriwa, waliagizwa na buwana. Ninaweza sema hivi pia. Na maandiko haya yote ambao ninasema, ya taingia na kuingi. Kwa hivyo nitayataja hata katika eh, chapter, eh, vitu ambazo zinafuata. Ukiangalia katika siku za, za mtu wanaitua eh, eh, farao. Doto yake ilikuwa na il, il, itaji interpreter. Ambaye atakuja na sauti ya buwana. Ampe instruction ya kile anasahiri kufanya. Na the instruction is what delivered Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to hear the voice of God, my brother. We need to hear the voice of God, my sister. For when we cannot hear the voice of God, kuna instruction to tamis na tutaigia katika kiangazi. Mungu ni naomba, wote ambao walimis sauti yako, wakaingia katika kiangazi katika maisha yao, wakaingia katika jaa katika maisha yao, uwasamehe na sauti yako ireje kwao, iwanene, ili watoke katika jangwa na katika njaa ya maisha yao. In Jesus name and somebody say amen. And may God help you. Thank you. All of you who are there, the Lord bless you. So number seven, we are talking about why God speaks to us. Number seven, to give solutions or to solve problems. Praise the name of the Lord. God would want to speak to us as a way of solving the problems in life. Hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 17 verse 1 to 7. The Bible says there was a time in, uh, 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 when the Israelites were in the wilderness. There came a time when there was no water. And the children of Israel complained in the sight of Moses. Praise the name of the Lord. And when they complained, the Bible says uh, 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 Moses sought the Lord. The Bible says, but the people lasted there for water, verse number three, and the people grappled against Moses and said, why did you, and, and so forth. And the Bible says, uh, verse number four, Moses cried to the Lord, what shall I do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, pass on before the people, taking with you uh, uh, some of the elders of Israel and taking your heart the staff, the staff with which you struck the Nile and go. Behold, I'll stand before you there on the rock at Horeb and you shall strike the rock and the water shall come out of it. Nitaenda na wewe. Kuna mwamba nitasimama juu yake. Uguze ule mwamba utatoka maji. Na wale wa Israeli watakunywa. Na mungu wakafanya hibo hibo. When the voice of God is there, you can be sure every problem has a solution. Hey, hallelujah. Every problem has a solution when we have the word of God. And brethren, let us not be fearful. 
cowardly. I want to say this. And this is why I pray that there will be a restoration of the voice of God in the church. Kwa maana sauti ya Bwana ikiwepo, there will be a solution for the sick. Praise the name of the Lord. A solution for our marriages. Because at times there are things that are happening and which are separating people, which are killing others, diseases which are hidden, and people don't understand. Praise the name of the Lord. I like it. One day I was praying for somebody and the person came to me and said, hey, I have a headache. And I prayed for the person. And when I, I'm, I'm laying my hand on the person, uh, uh, the Lord said the problem is not the headache. There is another underlying issue. So I asked the person, have you gone to see a doctor because of your heart? And your heart has a condition. And the person laughed. Praise the name of the Lord. And after that, I prayed for the person. And the Lord healed the person. With a revelation, you can heal. You can deliver people. Lakini wakati mwingine, wakati ya tuna neno rabwana, tutafanya vitu zile tunafikiri, tutafanya mambo vile tunayaona, tutaongea vile tunataka, vile kujua neno lile lilo na solution. So Genesis 40 from verse number, uh, 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 verse number 1, you know Pharaoh's dreams. And chapter 41, the interpretation and the solution that came because of that. Praise the name of the Lord. May God help you. And I know I have DVDs on the same message. So if you need a longer version, you can ask for it. You can inquire and I'll be ready to assist you to get it. Number eight. One other reason why God speaks is to reprove or to correct. Ukiingia katika makosa. Mungu atanena ili utoke katika makosa. Wapendwa, tulitaja hili neno sana. Isaiah 30 verse number 21. Ambapo Mungu anasema, if you turn to the left or to the right, you will hear a word behind your ear saying this is the way. Kwa maana Mungu anajua sisi ni wanadamu. Na tunaweza enda tufuate jia ambazo hatu kustahili kuzifuata. Tunaweza enda tukafanya mambo ambao hatu kustahili kufanya. Na kwa hivyo mungu anataka kutunenea. Tukikosea mungu atatuliproof through his word. Second Chronicles chapter number 36 from verse number 15. If you read your, uh, yourself, the Bible says, aliambia wa Israeli ya kwamba. Hallelujah. Akawambia, eh, alitumia manabia, alitumia watumishi wengi kuwanenea. Iri awatoe katika halizire ambazo walikuwa. Wana suwe sana. Lakini bia sema kwamba hawaku msikiza. Ndomana walienda katika utumwa. Ninaomba siku ya leo. Mungu wa kusaidia kusikia nenorake. Na ili usiende katika utumwa katika jina la yesu. Si mungu wa kunene. Si sauti yake inene katika maisha yako. Why should you go to perdition my brother? Why should you end up in failure? Why should you end up in trouble, my brother, when a God speaks to us? Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Father, we pray that your word will speak unto us. Your word will be heard in our spirits. Your word will be heard in our ears, even as the word says. So, my God, that when we hear your voice, we will not walk onto the way of perdition in Jesus' name. Hatuta ingia katika njia za laana, lakini tutafuata njia za baraka. In Jesus' name, and somebody say, Amen. Hallelujah. Second Samuel chapter 12, from verse number 1. Unajua katika chapter 11, what David did with Bathsheba and killed her husband. Praise the name of the Lord. But we know in chapter number 12, he sent his servant Nathan to speak to David and to warn him and to correct his ways. Wana suwe sana. Kama kuna makosa makubwa mbao unaezafanya, ni makosa ya kutojua sauti ya buwana wakati uko katika makosa. Mambo imeharibika, lakini haujui mungu anasema ni. Vitu vyako vimekwenda vibaya, lakini haujui ni nini mungu angetaka. May God help you. Daudi alirudi kwa jia kwa sababu ya kusikiza sauti ya buwana. Daudi alirudi kwa barabara kwa sababu alimusikiza mungu anenaya. Buwana awabariki sana. Hallelujah. Number nine, and uh, I don't know whether I can finish on this, but I want to say this. God speaks so as to expose. God speaks, and the intention of speaking is to expose. And uh, there are three things that I would like to say, or there are two things that uh, God exposes when he speaks. Number one, God exposes people. When he speaks. Do you know to expose is like now if I was doing like this. You don't know what is behind 
the book. You don't know what is behind my notebook. But if I take off the notebook, ah, you realize, ah, so you have a phone behind there. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I trying to say? God exposes. To expose is the same as to uncover. So mungu anaweza taka kufunua. Anaweza taka kuancover. Watu furani katika maisha yako. Kuna watu wanaweza kuwa waovu. Lakini wewe hawajui. Lakini mungu anaweza wa expose. Buwana suwe sana. First Kings chapter number 21. From verse number 17. God exposed, Eli exposed Ahab and his sins to Elijah. Buwana yesu wa sifiwe. Mungu alimu expose, alimu anika, alimu funua, ili ya onekane. Ni mtu wa matendo ya inagana. Unajua wameua naboth, wametukua shambarake, na haikai kama kuna kitu kikubwa wamefanya. Lakini katika lile jambo, wakawa watu ambao, mungu wamewafichua, akamunenea Elijah, ili Elijah, ajue ni nani wanakana ye. Ahabu ni mtu wa inagana, Jezebeli ni mtu wa inagana. I want to say this, may God give you his word. May God give you revelations so that every Ahab and every Jezebel may be revealed in your life in Jesus name. Ni watu wangapi walioa ma Jezebel? Ni watu wangapi walioolewa na ma Ahab? Watu ambao ni waovu, watu ambao wanafuata njia za kishetani, lakini hawakujua mpaka wakati it is too late, wako na watoto wawili, wako na watoto watatu. That is when they realize I went the wrong way. Why there was no voice of God to guide them to the light kind of a person. Praise the name of the Lord. May God bless you so much. So as I, as I come to a point and um, I'm winding up, I want to say this. Uh, if, you, if you read your Bible in, in, in uh, 2 Kings chapter number 6, verse number 8. The second thing that God would like to expose is enemies and the battles ahead of you. The enemies and the battles ahead of you. God would like to expose. So why God speaks to us is to expose. Sometimes kuna mahadui wanakupangia mambo. Kuna jama zinapangwa kwa ufalme wa giza. Lakini wewe haujui, wewe hauwelewi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa sababu ya kutojua, unajikuta katika matatizo. Unajikuta katika mateso. Kwa sababu kuna sauti hauku sikia. If you look at that word in 2 Kings chapter 6 verse number 8. Mfalme wa Asiria aliuliza, ni nani katika tietu wanatuuza kwa wa Israel? Kwa maana kwa nini kila mara tukipanga jambo, wa Israel wanalijua? Kwa nini kila mara tukipanga kitu, wa Israel wanakawa naelewa? Kwa nini wanajua mambo yale ambao tumepanga? Lakini kumbe jabolile halikuwa lina eksposiwa na mmoja wao. Hakukuwa na spy katikati ya waashuri. Aliyekuwa anajua mambo haya ni mtumishi wa bwana Elisha akiwa Israeli. Akiwa, in fact mtu mmoja. Can I share this word briefly? As I come to an end. Uh, because somehow we have to come to an end. I've said the second Samuel, uh, second Kings, sorry, chapter number six and verse number eight. Ukisoma mustari wake wangapi, mustari wake wa 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 kumi na moja ukiendelea. Anasema and the king, the mind of the king of Syria was greatly troubled because of this thing, and he called his servants and said to them, Will you not show me who? Of us is for the king of Israel. Nani ya namuambia siri zetu? Nani ya namuambia mambo ya napanga? Angalia katika mustari wa kumi na, na bi. Maandiko inasema, And one of his servants said, None my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet, who is in Israel, I like that word. Even the enemy knew there was a man called Elisha, a prophet. He, was, he has the word of God. And what did he say concerning this man? O king, but Elisha, the prophet who is in Israel, Tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. After ukinena ukiwa chini ya kitanda. Uyu mutu anajua yare umenena. Si mungu wa tusaidia tufike pale wapendwa. Mahali tutajua kile madui wanapanga. Mahali tutajua mikakati ya mbao inapangiwa kwa shetani. Wana yesu wa sifiwe. Tujue mambo yale ya nafanywa. Tujue siri ya mazo zinaundwa. Michoro wa mboi na chorwa. Wakati madui wa meketi, unakutana na wawasubi, unawachekele, unawambia, mulimariza mpango. Na hukuwa pare, kwa sababu mungu wa mekupa revelation. I thank God for revelations that I've had concerning my life, concerning my ministry, concerning my house. And I want to say this, even sometimes the deeper plans of the enemy, they had penetrated, they had done so many things. But when God exposed them, it was over. 
In the exposure, the battle is won. In exposure, some enemies are defeated. Praise the name of the Lord. Unajua wakati mambo mengine yanafanyika ni giza, hilo ni giza. Kuna watu wanapenda giza. Sijui kama ushawaiona kuna wanyama wanapenda giza. Akimulikwa tu na gari hivi. Akimulikwa usiku anatoroka kwa sababu gani hapendi mwangaza nayo revelation is a light and i want to pray for you today that you may receive this light of revelation because in the light of revelation in the light of the word of god when he speaks to you you expose your enemies and you defeat them even before you fight heavenly father lift up your hands wherever you are and tell god give me the the understanding give me revelations in jesus name speak unto me wherever i am speak unto me when i go into my office when i am doing my work servants of god pray that the god will give you revelations even in the church in jesus name when you come to a service may you have a revelation in jesus name when you come to a place whereby you are speaking to people may god give you exposure power so that you expose the enemy in the name of the lord the plan of the devil let them be exposed to you in jesus name the plans of the wicked let them be exposed in the name of the lord let people hear the word of god from your mouth let others understand the will of god from your mouth for god speaks and i know that god as you are continually speaking you will change things you will change the situations in jesus name as you have told us, my God, where you speak, there are solutions. May you speak solutions to your people. May you expose the answers, my God, in the name of the Lord. May you instruct your people. May you reprove your people, my God, by your word, by speaking unto many. May the word, my Father, expose them in the name of the Lord. I am praying for the grace, my Father, the restoration of the prophetic ministry, the restoration of the prophetic prophetic understanding in the name of the Lord. Let the word of God begin to speak to them. Let the I declare the exposure even of whatever they are suffering from my God. Wacha wengine wajue ni nini kina wasumbua. Wacha wengine waone falme ambazo zinawasumbua. Wacha wengine wajue mateso ambao yanawatesa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu naomba wengine wajue ni nini wanastahili kufanya. Mambo yale wanastahili kufanya. Watu wale wanastahili kwa associate nao. Watu wale wanastahili kujitenga na wao. Wacha wakajue katika jina la Yesu. Mungu kuna sauti yako hunena na huwa very clear. May it speak unto us in the name of the Lord. As you are lifting your hands wherever you are, I want to pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, open the ears of your people. I lay my hands on my own ears, signifying the ears of my hearers. And I declare right now, as I remove my hands off my ears, may everything that was in their ears, spiritually and physically, hindering them from hearing, may it be removed in Jesus' name. May it be cast out in Jesus' name. May the ability to hear begin in the name of Jesus Christ. Bwana jenga tamaa na haja ya kukusikia katika mio ya watu hawa. Na ili wanapo kufuata wanapo kusikiza. Bwana mungu wacha wakapone. Uli nena neno likaponya watu. Nena neno lituponye. Uli sema na wengine maisha ikabadilika. Sema nasi maisha yetu ya badilike. Uli sema na wengine ukawatajirisha. Uli nena na isaka ukambariki katika kiangazi. Na sisi wacha tusikia sauti yako. Itakayo tubariki katika siku za kiangazi chetu. Siku za shida. This is my prayer my God. Because you are God who speaks. Continue to speak unto us. We thank you and we honor you because you are God. This is my prayer for your people. Bless them. Bless them. Increase them, O oh God. There are some who are trying to rise up. May you give them the ability and the capacity to rise. The word that raises a man from the ash pit, my God, and the downhills of life, and sets them to eat and to feast with the princes, my God, may it be so in their lives. Father, we thank you and we honor you. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. And somebody say, Amen. Amen and Amen. God bless you so much.
Uh, see you tomorrow. Same time, 2.15 p.m. Uh, that is the time that we are trying very much to have the word of God so that we can share with you and the Lord can bless you. I want to say uh, from now onward, questions are welcome. You can send it as a comment on the video or you can send it as a, 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 a question on, a, a, on Messenger or you can even send the same on text or on WhatsApp because I will try to answer a few questions every day. So as from tomorrow, kama kuna swali, wewe nitumie lile swali, nitakuwa na nafasi ya kujibu maswali katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana awabariki na tunataka kusikia suggestion yako kama kuna jambo kuhusu mahubiri haya, kuna jambo kuhusu ujumbe huu, kuna jambo tuambie kama inakufikia sauti iko sawa tuambie vile unavyopata ujumbe huu hata katika YouTube maana tuna uhakika ni ujumbe wa baraka na ili tujue mahali pa kuimprove as from tomorrow we might have better quality because there are things that God is giving unto us to make sure that we reach you better than we are doing uh, the number uh, WhatsApp number SMS number is 0719727770 the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom.